वेलकम टू पद्म भूषण मैसूर श्री वासुदेवाचार्य लाइफ एंड म्यूजि स्पेशल सीरीज कॉन्सर्ट टुडे वी हैव विद्वान श्रीमती वीना श्रीकांत ऑन द वीना श्रीमती वीना श्रीकांत इज एन एविड वीना प्लेयर शी इज बीन परस्यूइंग द आर्ट फॉर टेन इयर्स नाउ She got initiated into veena by her late grandfather Vidwan Gandham Rama Shastri in her childhood. However, she started more seriously pursuing the art for the last 10 years. She continued her basic training under Shrimati Shubha Sridharan of Apex North Carolina in USA. and junior level training under shrimati sujatha tyagaraj and she is currently pursuing advanced training under dr suma sudhinda dr suma sudhinda is a classical musician and a celebrated veena virtuoso from india one of the foremost exponents of the veena in her generation of musicians She began playing the veena at the age of 8 and was trained by veena maestros Sri Raja Rao and Sri Chitti Babu. Her fashion of music blends classical conservatism and the dynamic spirit of innovations and her and she has entertained her listeners with great panache over the years. Dr. Suma Sudhinder is critically acclaimed for national as well as international concerts. She also has to her credit the invention of Tarangini Veena created by her which is a compact version of the Saraswati Veena. She also actively performs within India and outside of India. She has performed in USA and Europe concert tours and she teaches and she's also the director of outreach for the center for indian music experience guru shrimati sujatha tyagaraj hails from chennai she is a disciple of shri kalpagam swaminathan her veena technique followed the tanjavur bani or style which is characterized by its strong commitment to producing musical gamakas in the manner they would be rendered vocally she performs regularly throughout india and has also performed in concerts in the usa as well namaste everyone with humble pranams to my guru dr suma sudhindra I would like to start today's concert for Mysore Vasudeva Charya Life and Music Concert Series. I am very grateful for the opportunity given by Sri Subramanyam Ramachandran of homage to Mysore Vasudeva Charya platform for performing this concert today. I welcome all the viewers. Thank you. Please enjoy the concert. Today we start with shri mysuru vasudevacharya's first varnam composition which was vanajaksha in mandari aditala vanajaksha ninne kori valachi vachiyunnan o krishna the eyes are beautiful like lotus i love you only and approach you Thank you. 
is going to be Vata Piganapatim Bhaje in Hamsadvani Raghu Aditaal by Sri Muthuswami Dikshita. In this kuti, Dikshita worships Ganapati, the remover of obstacles. He describes his appearance and says that all gods, goddesses and sages pay obeisance to him first. This is a very popular first song in concerts of Carnatic music. It is a prayer addressed to Ganesha of Badami, written in Raga Hansadvani, which is resembles the sound of a swan. This is one of the most well-known compositions in all of Carnatic music. Muthuswami Dikshitar's father, Sri Ramaswami Dikshitar, invented the Raga Hansadvani or the voice of the swan. It is said that this Kriti is considered auspicious to be sung or heard in the dawn when the sun is visible on the horizon. Vatapi is a reference to the present day Badami in Karnataka. When the Pallavas invaded the Chalukya kingdom, they brought the idol of Ganapati from Badami and installed it in the Piruvarur temple. Dikshitar Swami glorifies this Ganapati. Vatapi Ganapatim Bhajeham Varanasyam Varaprada. I worship Ganapati of Vatapi, the elephant headed god who grants us boots. Thank you. 
going to be Mamavatu Sri Saraswati in Ragam Hindoran Adi Tavan. This is composed by Mysuru Sri Vasudeva Acharya. This song is usually sung or played on the ninth day of Navaratri. It's a beautiful composition by Sri Mysuru Vasudeva Acharya. Mamavatu Sri Saraswati is set in Raga Hindoram to pay homage to Goddess Saraswati. The song is especially meaningful that Saraswati's presence all around us. As we worship our Goddess on this day, we should all remember that she exists not only in temples but in each home where the arts are practiced and loved. Be it music, dance or fine arts. She exists in every home in which education is honored and respected. She lives within us, with us and to us. Some people also sing Saraswati Namastubhyam, Varade Kamarupini, Vidyarambham Karishyami, Siddhartha Mesada.
of the goddess. The song Sri Chamundeshwari is performed on the ninth day of Navaratri, which is usually a day dedicated to celebrating peace and knowledge. He composed the most beautiful kriti on Sri Chamundeshwari, the prime deity in the nearby temple on Mount Mahabala. In Pallavi, he says, O kind Shankari, please protect me and you do take care of the righteous. You have made Mount Mahabala as you were abode, and you are the one who killed the demon Mahishasura. Let's enjoy Sri Chamundeshwari. Thank you. 
to have remarked, my modest little girl has been bedecked with finery and transformed into a princess. What imbues certain songs with an incredible sweetness which lingers forever in memory? What makes certain compositions much more than the sum total of their ingredients of notes, words and rhythm? is composed in Telugu in Raga Kamas. Like so many bhaktas before him and so many after him, the poet begs of Rama, O Sita's husband, don't you have regard for me? Can't you listen to my pleas? Aren't you Vasudeva who rushed to rescue the king of elephants? Dispel my sins, hold my hand and do not let go. As we listen to this beautiful song, we too pray, Rama, I have neither beautiful words nor melody, but I plead the same. Please don't let go of me. Thank <laughs> you. 
Vasudevachar. It is in Simhendra Madhyaman Raga and Mishra Chapatara. Thank you. 
It's a beautiful Kannada devotional and traditional song. The married ladies pray the goddess Lakshmi to give good health and wealth. They perform puja and invite other people to participate in their function. I want to share my house puja with you. Bhagya da Lakshmi Baramma, Namamani Sau Bhagya da Lakshmi Baramma. Thank you. 
platform for giving me this wonderful opportunity to present here today. Thank you all.